Okay, hopefully you've got everything together now. Our first one is to entertain. Uh, I think that's one of my favourites. I like to read to enter and to be entertained. Okay, so it is just something that's interesting, something that catches your eye and you think, gee, I want to read that. That sounds really entertaining. So it might have been the paper with a headline, man dressed as clown runs across the M1 during broad, during peak hour traffic. Um, I want you to have a think of what would, you would find entertaining. Okay, because you're going to come up with an example of your own for each of these. So it's entertain. The author's purpose is to write about a topic that is interesting. The next one is inform. So write about a topic using facts and information. Okay, so this is factual. So if we all think back to the beach, when we did Katie at the beach, we looked at the king tides and there were a lot of facts about how we can prevent erosion, how we can do it naturally, how the local government can help, what we can do as citizens to help. That's all factual, that's informing us and we learnt a lot. So I know a lot of you enjoyed that subject. So that's mm -hmm. a really good one. Um, now, so that's two. We've got to entertain and we've got to inform. So our next one is to describe something. Okay, so describing something, you are writing about what something or somebody looks like, sounds like, smells like, tastes like, and feels like. So for those of us that were maybe thinking about going to the ECA, um, we could have written about what does it smell like in the cow barn? Well, pretty pongy. Uh, what does those strawberry sundaes taste like? Delicious. Um, and then we smell things like popcorn. We see things that it's just everything there. So that would be describing and there would be so much for us to describe there. Once again, you're going to be thinking about your own, your own example for your own pie chart. Okay. So next one along, we're explaining, okay? So we're explaining of something. This is how you do something and tell someone how it works. So it's, it's almost an instructional type of writing because you're explaining how to do something or how something works. So you might, I, it can be so simple. You might simply be explaining to someone, where does the water level go in my shaker pancake for breakfast? Um, or how do I draw a Pokemon? It's so, it's not hard. It's, there's no trick question here, okay? Explaining anything. So that shouldn't be too hard to come up with an example for. All right, now our next one and our last one is persuade. So we've been doing persuasive writing since oh, we were little. Um, we're convincing the reader of something. So an example um, could be that we're convincing a reader that it's best for them to be doing their work at home so when they come back to school their teachers are happy because they've gotten smarter while they're at home uh, so that as i said example okay example there's there's so many different things we have i think we've 
had a class do, do we keep the forest or do we put in a new playground? Okay, and they were persuading the local government, which we have covered some of the local government. So what you are going to do is, first of all, I'd like to hope that you, most of you remember this from class, okay? And if you don't, you might need to go back and have a listen to what each one is about, all right? And you are going to now take your chart, okay? So you've got your chart. Now, unlike, well, I'm in Miss Baker's room, so unlike hers where she's cut it, you're just going to keep it as one. So up the top here, you would write author's purpose. So I'll do that now. So author's purpose. And hopefully you've taken some notes or you can remember. So see, I've just written author's purpose in that small part up there. So the author's purpose is, hopefully if you're here, I'd ask for hands up. It's a reason the author writes something, okay? So I am going to write, it's the reason the An author, so reason is our really important word here, okay, because they're not writing just for the fun of it. There is always a reason. And coming possibly tomorrow, you're going to have some texts where you're going to have to find those reasons. So I'm just, sorry, still writing this down because I want you to see what I want you to do. So, I've got here, it's the reason the author writes something, okay? So, it's still just taking up one wedge. Then, I want an example. Now, I think I've given you enough examples, and you can then come up with your own. So, if you have a look here. We've got examples. I know it comes across back to front, but you get the general idea. Okay. You are most welcome to do it in different colours. You can do whatever you like. I don't mind as long as it's done. Okay. Now, those examples. I really want you to think about it. Don't just copy the ones I've given you. And that will help you tomorrow when you get your tasks. So I'm going to let you get to it now. Remember, if you haven't, if you're not sure of something, just go back to that part, rewatch it and put it onto your chart. Okay, so it just goes like that all the way around. All right, have a good day guys and I shall talk to you again tomorrow.